Welcome to PNW Bike Tours. Kind of formally introduced myself. I'm Connor Barrows. We're here again making another video. This time, unfortunately, we're not riding because of all the smoke you can see behind me. It's no good. There's some fires to the north that uh, are causing it to be smoky down here. So, no riding. Uh, but today, I was just going to show you my bike a little bit and my setup that I'll generally use. I know people typically make a gear setup video uh, regarding a specific race or ride that they're going to do. This one's a bit more general. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys videos in the future about you know, riding the eastern slopes of the Cascades uh, and Washington as a whole and the Pacific Northwest as a whole. So this is my general setup that I will be using uh, when making those videos and when riding around exploring things on my bicycle doing my favorite thing. This is my 2017 Salsa Wood Smoke 29er Plus mountain bike. As far as componentry goes on this bike, uh, we got a full SLX group. Um, with an XT crank on there, a 30 tooth ring on that crank, and a 950 cassette in the back, of course 12 speed, so plenty of range for getting up and down Washington's mountains. The 2.6 inch tires on there, uh, good for sand, good for uh, really anything, pavement, or uh, you know, trail surfaces, dirt, wet or dry. Got 120 millimeters of travel up front on the fork, uh, so a little bit of suspension, but a hardtail otherwise. Um, pretty good all-rounder here for Washington. Does well on the pavement, does well on gravel roads. Uh, it is a mountain bike, so it can handle the single track. and does well on the trails. Here in a little bit, I'll show you what's inside the bags. But right now, as far as the bags go, we got the Relevate Terrapin 14 liter on the back. Great bag, super stable, not really going anywhere. Been down some gnarly stuff and it does a good job. Uh, the Salsa frame pack, uh, of course being a Salsa bike, very easy to just get one from them. They're a great bag, actually manufactured by Relevate and uh, yeah, just been awesome. Uh, the Salsa top tube bag, mounts right on there, super stable, helps hold my drinking system, more about that later. Uh, and then a Salsa anything cradle and the, uh, the dry bag and front pouch uh, to go with it. So let's talk a little bit about what's in these bags. Uh, we'll kind of go in the order that I usually go in when I get to camp and unpack. Uh, so I usually start with the front here because that's where the tent is. First thing is we got a pump on here in case I have any flats like I do right now. I'll get that off there. For me. Salsa bag from the anything right If you are still uh, using the, the the Velcro straps, I highly recommend the Vole straps. They make life way easier. No issues, always tight, no movement, much better than Velcro. This is where I keep all my electronics. Uh, we got a, a power bank here, able to do a couple chargers. And then in the top here, just sort of general stuff. So cords to charge with the power bank. We got some bug repellent. Very necessary as in the hot summers here, especially when there's water around. We got some sunscreen, of course, also extremely necessary. And then 
hopefully a little less necessary, but you always want to have it. Your multi-tool, in case you got to fix something. And then something you should have, but you hope you don't need to use is the can of the bear spray. So you really, uh, I don't know, piss off a bear before it eats you. <laughs> Absolutely positive you don't want it on your face, just on the bear's face. Look at that picture of the bear on there. He looks like he's ready to strike. To deter bears from attacking humans works on all bear species. Moving along here, uh, we'll open up the end of this big burrito. And inside. We have the uh, Copper Spur UL Ultralight Two Person Bike Packing Tent with the short sticks, 12 inch poles. Very nice for bike packing. There's a reason a lot of people like to use these tents. They store away in a, a small space and they're uh, comfortable and roomy. Got our stakes for the Copper Spur. Always want those. And of course you always want a footprint too, in case you are going to be uh, setting up on something that you could poke a hole in your tent. You don't want to leak. We have an extra chamois. That's the last thing in here. Um, always want to bring an extra one of these. Uh, you can kind of wash one and uh, wear one and interchange them so you don't ever have to riding something too sweaty, which is always going to cause the saddle sores. No one wants saddle sores. Always bring an extra chamois. Um, then also, I mean, if you got chamois, you don't need to bring underwear. More on that later. So, first things here, we got our light on the back. Of course, you always want to bring one of those for safety and for staying within the law. We'll unclip here and the dry bag comes out. All right, let's open up this back bag here. And first things first, the Lucy light. It's got a USB <laughs> charger and a, uh, a solar panel and a light. And so you can charge it up with the solar and you know, plug a device in and get it charged, and you know, it's always kind of nice to have that and uh, give yourself a little peace of mind that you can always charge something. Uh, next thing here is we got a freeze-dried meal, the pad thai from the backpacker's pantry. Very good one, highly recommend. These meals are great because you can fold them up and stick them in here, and uh, yeah, they pack away and they're light and they fill you up at the end of the day. Uh, they also fill you up for breakfast. We have a breakfast one in there. Here in Washington, of course, you, you need your rain jacket because all it does is rain here. So you better have that. Uh, good one. Um, but yeah, it's important to be visible. So you might think about getting something brighter colored, even though the black ones are maybe more common. But uh, yeah, I like to be visible with this one. The sleep system so we'll start here with the sea to summit ultralight uh, sleeping pad obviously inflatable one uh, blow it up pretty good one um, i might go for something thicker because i'm a side sleeper but so far this has done the trick and because it's so light and compact and packs well uh, it works well for me and for bike packing also have the pillow to go with the sleeping pad. Keep your neck in good shape. Uh, it allows you to wear maybe the jacket or sweatshirt that you'd other be otherwise be using as a pillow. Uh, and yeah, it makes you a, a happy camper. And then lastly, we got the sleeping bag. It's the Sea to Summit Traveler. It's the 30 degree one because we got some high mountains and some uh, potential for cold weather even in the summertime here in Washington in the Pacific Northwest. So I chose a 30 degree bag as just kind of a good uh, all arounder for all seasons. Obviously can't bike in the winter here in the mountains, but uh, a 
for the rest of the year, this should do the trick. It should work really well. Uh, so far, I've been really, really satisfied with this bag. So I will be showing you in the frame pack next. Uh, some of this stuff I use when I'm at camp. Some of this stuff uh, stays in there for um, uh, just for riding, and it just always stays in there. All right. So in the frame pack here. Some more food related stuff, coffee creamer. Always need that for a good cup of coffee in the morning, or at least I do. And I got another meal, got a couple meals here. Uh, so, you know, can go pretty far with, uh, there's it four meals. Got a pretty good range for that amount of food. Of course, you need something to cook those in. You need a cup to have your coffee in. We got a nice little coffee mug here that collapses down. And a nice small little jet boil. It barely fits. Inside, I've got the fuel, got the stove. Great jet boil. Allows me to cook all that delicious food. Got a clothing item that I think everyone should always bring a, a good undershirt something to keep you warm in case you, you know, run into something bad. An extra pair of underwear. An extra tube. And of course a first aid kit. Very important to have a first aid kit. This one that says is good for two people. Um, but it's got, I don't know, it's like a 30 piece or something. All sorts of stuff in there in case you have a, a really bad day. On this side of the salsa frame pack is where I keep my gloves. Always important in case you have a, uh, a cold descent or something. Another cliff bar stashed away. Usually stash these all over the bike, kind of wherever they fit. And then I actually like to carry two physical maps of the area that we uh, ride in most often in the area around my house uh, so if my devices are ever dead and I can't look at a map on a screen I always have these uh, to, to go to and hopefully I can get home with something like this that's all I keep in this side of the bag doesn't hold too much so as you can see in here, I got the jet boil and all that stuff on one side of the frame pack divider. On the other side here, I got a hydration system. So here we have a two liter bladder uh, with all the water in the mountains around here. That's pretty sufficient for uh, carrying water because you're always gonna run into some more, more than likely. And we got the one liter bee free water filter. Uh, which is how I fill up the bladder and uh, allows me to carry another liter. So three liters total I can carry in the frame pack here. The top here and uh, is nicely stashed away uh, for me to drink while I'm riding. Up here in the top tube bag, we got some various snacks, cliff bar, some blocks, um, but we also have some things like this Hawaiian punch, some coffee, another lighter, can never have too many. <laughs> That's about it. The other piece we have up here on the handlebars is my 1100 lumen headlight. Uh, it's rechargeable and I got the cord there so I can recharge it. Um, but yeah, this allows me to see on even the darkest trail and allows me to be very visible on a dark road at night. Okay. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.